Good evening. In theory, in theory, we have sound. In theory. Oh, hello there, Ponda. 38 months. Good lord, 38 months. Hello, Mike. And C Dubs and One Eyed Freakbot. Sir Duncan. And Still Saucer going. Brain. Indeed. Um, so let's try. Oh, he's he sort of these gifts. They're in the wrong. In the wrong. They're, they're a bit too big. And the spectrum's too small. But well, let's give me give us some. Hopefully, sound is working. If sound is not working, I'm talking. If sound is not working, do say because otherwise it's be a quite a strange stream. It's lovely that I've got a little little bit of a ponytail going on. A ponytail, you know, appropriate for the evening. Evening, Gorda. Sound is working. Right. Let's sort out these bloody gifts. These gifts based on some some crap. Let's move this flag. Make it a bit smaller. That'll do. In the corner. So you'll see, you'll see it there flapping about. And the same with the other flags. See it? Note the appropriate flags. Hello. Right. Evening paradox. Let's get started with our bit of loading. This is... Hopefully not too loud. Hopefully not. This isn't too loud. This is Redcoats by Lothlorien. Hello, Dave. And this is a cup of tea. And... Hello, how's it going, sir? You have indeed. This is a biscuit, by the way. This is a biscuit. Later on, it might be called a cookie, but for now, it's a biscuit. Eight bits rule all they do indeed. These are tea bags, which I'm not chucking in the not chucking in the sea. I've got these on the sea. I've got these from a cruise. Um, so 1984 game. It's about the American War of Independence. Or um, indeed, I had to um. The flag isn't perfect because uh, the there had to be thirteen stars and thirteen stripes. Stri I, already, I already had the flag from uh, from um, Guadalcanal where America had sixty four states because I got the maths wrong. That's not a bad little picture, is it? You got a red coat with his white little leggings and a bloke shooting and some different kind of trousers. Oh, what a jolly! Um, oh, we need you need biscuits. Um, what else do we do? Oh yes, of course there has to be thirteen stars in a circle, which is uh, okay, I'm going to go at it. And then all the stars were all facing outwards. I thought, oh, fuck off. Fuck off, I'm doing that. I ain't got time for that. I, I'm just trying to sort this out very quickly. But I have made some sounds. Um, found some sounds. We've got some sound alerts. I do like the war games. And I, 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 tend, to, I tend, to tend to remember to put the Switch streams on there as well. The YouTube video I'm currently working on, is of looking around, is... It's not a Spectrum one, unfortunately. It is... Waterloo, though. By Humphrey Wallin, who's done some quite rather good little games in here. Uh, but I do Spectrum games. I do some Commodore 64 games. I've not done many Amstrad games. Occasionally BBC. This game is available for the Spectrum and the BBC Micro and the Amstrad CPC. Yes, lots of these epic games. I think I've done one of them. And I've many, many. I've got hats in here as well. I've got hats in case I need to be the Hessians or I need to be Americans. All that. So you need many, many hats. So it's written by A. Pew. It's all rather jolly. I think I might even have sounds. Can I watch now with 14 viewers? Yes, I bloody can, you know. Um, whatever. Uh, in theory, I can play sounds such as... Like a bit of a sound, always like a bit of sound, don't we? Um, the, this game comes with five battles the Battle of Freeman's Farm, the Battle of Camden, Battle of Cowpens, oh, yes, the Petal Hats, um, Battle of Guildford Courthouse, and the Battle of Utah Springs, um, which I created a special sound effect, which is on that sound alert thing on the screen at some point. If not, I'll play anyway because I'd like to play. Oh, I'd rather please with that. Oh, I saw, I saw that. Oh, there yes. But not only is there the five battles. Yeah. Thank you for the subscription, just uh, Tim Pot Gamer. Um, we always like things clashing on the ZX Spectrum. It's part of the charm. It's, oh, stop the tape, stop the tape. Oh, phew. Have you heard the one about the two Spectrum game designers who couldn't agree on their graphics? They clashed. That's quality. So, we have... 
The game comes with five battles already, but you can, you can make your own battles up with titles and build. You can build maps and do all kind of stuff. But we're going to play a game. We're going to load a game from a tape. We're going to load the battle of. We're not going to use the micro drive. We're going to use. What? We're going to use the free the first battle, which is Freeman's Farm. The battle of Freeman's Farm. Here we are. Gen General <coughs> General Gentleman Johnny Burgoyne was leading the British main column through the woods toward Bemis Heights, where he thought the Americans were. General Fraser, we're doomed, was to his right, and the German allies... And the General von Rietzel were to his left. Suddenly... Oh. Here we are. As he entered a clearing around Freeman's farm, shots rang out. He had found the Americans. Where are we? Nothing but educational there. Nothing educational. Nah. Right, so now we need to play the game. So let's press P to play the game. That's right. How many human players? Are just the one. I'm going to be British. Difficulty, 0 to 9. Uh, let's see what that actually means. Difficulty. Does it tell us what difficulty is? Because it's 0 to 9, which is easy. Difficulty. It does not. So let's go with 5. And then it loads. So what we have is... We have green, which is open. We have little little trees, looks like. The, the soldiers come in different varieties, as you might expect. The main weapon of, of everybody is the musket, which is muzzle-loaded and fitted with bayonets. There are also riflemen, who are better shots and far further... But do not have bayonets. It, it does look a bit. Um, you've also got... Oh, hats are falling everywhere. You've also got cavalry, who are only armed with swords and not with pistols. No pistols for cavalry, only swords. Get in there, slash them up. And cannons. So, first issue we're going to have is... I reckon they did. Um... So we, this is a British unit, and it's 300 men, armed with musket, Marauders 98, armed with muskets. I'm going to select move with M, with M. I have to give a direction to move, which is based on the clock face. You can use decimals. I want him to move uh, four o'clock-ish. And he's going to march. How far do you want him to march? I think maybe into the woods, two spaces. I reckon the Americans are the chaps in white. We're, we're the chaps in black. Although we should be red because we're the redcoats. Yeah, it is interesting, isn't it? And, also, and you, can, you can have decimals as well. So you don't have to go, can go move up half as four. So this is British artillery. And I want him to limber up so I can, they can move. This is again British uh, M, M to move. We're going to go at three o'clock, and we're going we're to go all the way. Look at that marching forward. And again, we're going to move. We're going to move at four o'clock, all the way, and again move. Three o'clock. All the way. Look at that. I want you to fire. Oh, my cannon is not loaded. They're going to reload. So that is Morgan's rifles. They're reloading. And they get reinforcements, which means they're cheating. Please note, they are cheating because they're getting reinforcements. Oh, I just like a lack of a team. And they've got Continentals who are armed with muskets. Have, they have, note their morale is that they are stronger than us but have a lot lower morale. Because they are not professional soldiers like what we is. Could have quite a lovely uniform. Also, we, we probably had an English breakfast. They've only had a Continental breakfast. But as we all know, Continental breakfasts are not as good. So we've got 300 men, but our morale is very high. Remember, all they had to do is cross-ons. We want to go, let's say, at 
4.5 and let's go all the way there are the, the you can probably barely see the yellow box then I limbered I'm gonna make, make him move I've now limbered up my artillery so it can move so I can go and shoot shoot some people I want you to move to 4.5 o'clock, harvest four. Again, we're gonna move. We start out with loaded muskets, but unloaded cannons. We don't have any horses either. We're getting close to that little bloke in the woods. Ah, hello there, Mike. Um, it's easily done. Indeed, and Bob the passes. That's the, that's the way to do it, Ponder. With a rebel yell, we don't that nonsense. Shame we're not red. I like to have red, red soldiers, but at least the border is red. Yeah, I do like that, um, was it Key and Peel sketch with like a continental breakfast. Yes! I've just killed ten men! Huzzah! It's not a real breakfast, is it? Well, they've got lo Ooh! Bloody hell. They've just killed 210 men with their rifles. That hurt. Those rifles are actually quite good. There was lots of choice on the cruise. Um, you could have a full breakfast in the Britannia restaurant. Uh, or you have a buffet breakfast in the in the Lido buffet. I'd have another light breakfast, which so they have some Weetabix and then sort of bacon, egg, sausage, sort of sort of thing. So not nothing too heavy. But you can have things like kippers. Exactly, yeah. And, and they've got F-15 strike eagles. So we're gonna get into cover. I think might be might be a good idea. And they've got M16s. Also, as we know, at this this period, Americans had harnessed the lightning due to Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, exactly. Because Benjamin Franklin had captured the power of lightning. Also, George Washington uh, would go around chopping down trees with his magic axe. So basically, any time you were in a forest, you'd be very careful because the trees would fall on you because of George Washington. So here we had 300 men, now we have 90. We've lost most of our men. Our morale is appalling. So I think we're going to retreat because um, most of us are dead. And that seemed to be, to be a bad thing. This guy, I want you to go moving into the woods. Yeah, the clock face is interesting. You're not wrong. Apparently, after... Oh, we need to reload, of course. After the Battle of Waterloo, basically the bottom fell out of the false teeth market because there were so many dead that basically everyone went around stealing all their teeth. So basically there was like loads of spare teeth. That's the one. Ooh, bloody hell. That was a one-shot kill. That was a one-shot kill. This is on medium difficulty. This is what counterinsurgency was like in the 18th century. Oh yeah. But you need to false teeth, so basically, oh, you need, basically they got the teeth off a dead body and stuck them in dentures for you. I was feeling quite cocky about this battle. Obviously, gentleman Johnny Burgoyne's a bit shit. Um, right, I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try and do a charge. I'll try. Ooh, yes. I've gone in. Oh no, I've got. I've just gone in, D Dave, with a cold steel. And they don't like it up them. They do not like it up them. And I've routed an American unit, although they have shot one of mine. Uh, reload the cannon. So the Americans have rifles, which are really, really good. 
Yeah, exactly. General Wither, how scary, you know. Or um, the Tyrant of Trinidad. That, that, you know, it's not a nice name, but it's a scary name. Whereas Gentleman Johnny. Uh, let's try charging. Yes. They do like cold steel. They do not like cold steel. That's, that's looking a bit more, bit more like it. And it shoots at people. I killed seven men. I think, to be fair, I'm firing at an extreme range, to be fair. Oof. However, the 400 men of uh, Morgan's rifles fired back at me and killed everybody in the unit. And again. Rifles are rather good. We're now rather outnumbered. We've got 90 infantry and two lots of cannons. Oh yeah, they, they, the Americans don't mess about. That's why, that's why I've got hats in here so I can change sides. That is very much true, Dave. You're not wrong. Right. That's more like it. I'm going to move into the woods in the hope that I won't die. That's better. So with muskets and rifles, the first shot is more effective because you have, you have plenty of time to load. After you're over the battlefield, reloads are not quite as good. You see, look, I mean, because I'm in cover, I didn't lose as many men. However, there are now like 2,000 Americans versus 90 British. So it's getting a bit rocks drifty. However, they're... Oh, reinforcements arrive. Hello there, Doc. Indeed, the Americans are doing, the Americans are doing quite well, though, Doc Flux. Um, they've basically... Um, 16 months streak as well. They're you basically... Um, very long on break right now. Wait, changing sides. Traitor. Indeed. They've, uh, mer they've wiped out most of my units in one shot. Which is good going, really. The Americans are right now advanced. The Americans are the, the very hard to see white soldiers. I'm the black soldiers, of which uh, there were, there were, there's an infantry in the woods, of which there were 90, because they got shot at a lot. So we're not doing, we're not doing very well here. Also, British troops, obviously, these are professional troops. We would have get them, get more of them from, uh, from Britain. So mostly I use emulation. Um, I do have a ZX Spectrum Plus 2 next door, which I, which I mainly use for... Um, N is nothing. Right? I mainly use that for loading games from tape and then snapshotting it with the div MMC future. So I do think it's more wonderful. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a space setup thing. I've, I haven't got enough space to set things up nicely. Ah, so the Americans are coming to the open now. So hopefully my artillery book... Um, a bit more effective. Because basically I've lost most I've lost most of my infantry. Which is a bad, bad thing. Because there are thousands of them coming at me. With their David Bowie knives and whatnot. So I think I need to reload. You're doing nothing, so that everyone's out of range. If you're not in range, you're going to fire. That's respectable. I reckon he's going to wipe out my artillery now with his rifles. Oh, he's approaching further. See, being in cover seems to be a good thing. Not advancing across an open field towards Americans with rifles. I should hopefully remember, remember this for the next battle. Exactly, yeah, and, and then set of things over a cup of tea. So they ch it chooses a ah. So 
the numbers. Oh yeah, Gentleman Johnny. Um, S is strength. So this is the 62nd Regiment of Foot, which is uh, British. M is musket. S means strength. He's got 90 men. It started with 300. Um, now we've got 90. M is morale. Started with 98, but we got badly shot by riflemen. It's now dropped to, tw to 21. We would C means we're in cover. And we're going to stay in cover. This is British artillery, 50 men, very high morale. And I'm going to reload. Hopefully we get to fire every turn. When you fire... Ah, he's retreating now. Hi, ah, you, you, you don't like it up. When you fire, they choose a target automatically, which is also the same when you do a charge. However, if you charge and don't reach contact with the enemy, you lose morale. Charging is very good against against uh, enemies with rifles because they don't have bayonets. But rifles do not have bayonets, therefore they are not as good as in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So I'm now going to try and shoot all the Americans. In turn, over and over again with my cannons. So I'm going to fire that. It's where the, it's hopefully to shoot the guy in front in front of the yellow box, which, which is Freeman's farm. Take that, you bastards. Reinforcements arrived, but not for... Oh, I've got more cannons. I've got some more cannons. How lovely. Indeed. Rifles are rather good, though. I think they eventually the British do adopt rifles with a rifle brigade. Which, as we know, with Sharp. Chosen man. So British cannons are good. British infantry is vulnerable to rifles. Ah, the letter R means that you're loaded. So when you start the game, your cannons are not loaded. Cannons can also be limbered or unlimbered. Before you can move... I've lost my infantry, because he's just, he's just legged it. So this cannon is unlimbered, so it's ready to fire. However, it is unloaded. So I press R to load. Which is raw reload, you prefer. Now this cat is German artillery. I'm going to change hats. Excuse me. It is important to be historically accurate. It's, indeed, yeah, apparently they, they, um, this, when you arrive, they need to instantly reload artillery. Indeed, yeah, you've legged it. Um, so yes, the rifle, because, because, because officers, muskets are a bit shit. They basically have to be quite close range, to uh, 50, about 50 yards. Whereas, um, if you have rifles, you can hit people from distance. You can see, oh, who's the officer? He's the bloke with all the gold on him. Shoot the bastard. And then shoot, then you can shoot the sergeant. So then basically that's very bad for morale. Oh, so change hats. So. British artillery, reload! Now, comma R, ready to load, so we can fire. So we're at quite a fair range here. They are more like um, skirmishers. So light infantry is more like skirmishers. Yeah, I think he's just arrived. So light infantry are skirmishers. Continentals are regular troops. They're not, not as good as British troops. Riflemen obviously better. Militia are of lower morale. Are you going to shoot at somebody? That's Germans for you. German efficiency. And we have now some German infantry. And this guy, we're going to stay in the woods. Because we've learned. They're also bigger. It's 500 men, 99 morale. We're going to move with M. Go to the east, which is three. Full distance. So these are continentals. It's basically just... Regular American infantry, but look, but note their um, no worries, Doc Flux. Have fun, mate. Uh, note their morale is low. Um, they're trying their best, but they don't they don't have the, the morale of British troops. However, they're often bigger than we are. So I'm ready to fire. So it's quite long range, but they but, you know, people don't like being shot at. I would like being shot at, would you? So our morale is enormously high. 
best thing for the Americans to do was sneak through the woods and then charge the German artillery. So advancing through the woods, it's like our, our lovely Germans, who at this point are the goodies. So there's 500 Americans here. Another 500 Continentals there. That's a, that's a thousand Americans. 1,500 or so. No artillery though. They get artillery later. Either they capture artillery from British forts or they get it from the French. So that artillery at the bottom, the German artillery, is vulnerable. So that artillery on the far left, he's basically, he's too far away. And this guy's vulnerable. But fortunately, I managed to wipe that, that, that bugger out, which is good. And I'm going to keep advancing through the woods until I get close enough to go in with the cold steel. The picture underneath the chat box, as I think you can't even see. Um, where is, where's the chat box? Here's the chat box. Yeah, there's the chat box. Um, that's me in the National Portrait Gallery with the portrait of Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel Barastra Tarleton. And we'll, we'll come across him later on. But I'm going to press L, which is limber. Basically attach the cannons to the horses and get ready for action. And that means we can then move the cannons. Because the Americans are over on the right hand side. And the Germans are now going to take Freeman's farm. I've also got automatic captions apparently. Apparently it's a thing you can do and it's quite easy. It's quite easy. So hopefully it'll be useful for people. Especially in the in the in the repeats. So I always thought I thought I'd lost this battle, but my cannons have been really good. So he's now limbered up. Move the cannons. Going east. Full distance. Get round this farm and start shooting. Move the cannons. East. And hopefully shoot the guy in the open. Yes. They don't like it, do they? They killed 100 men and the rest of them have just run off. So we now have 500 men versus 500 men, but we've got three lots of cannons. I've turned this around. Note how good a general I am. Better than Billy Burgoyne. He was shit, apparently. I'm now in the farm. And they bottled it. And they have bottled it. Look at that pretty picture. Pretty picture. Woo, zooms in. British have won. British casualties 806. So American casualties 806. British casualties 1110. Score zero. Well, I still think that deserves a tune. Which hopefully you can see. Yeah, yeah, we all, we're all learning. We've all, we, yeah, we've we all had a, had a tough day. Yeah, the um, cavalry can, cavalry can move further. Um, I think it's, I think it's basically, it's, it's a, I think it's up to spaces. Though it's a bit vague. Cavalry can move further. Maybe also um, forests slow them down. So, enter to start again. 